Hey, Darren, it's Jeremy. Um, it's Jeremy. I don't know if you just got that or not. I can't tell when the video starts or whatever on the on this uh, these little webcam ones. But anyways, uh, I had a quick question for you, buddy. Um, I figured this would be the fastest way to do it for me anyway, um, since I lost your number. It's in my old phone and stuff and blah, blah, blah. I suck with phones now. When I did construction, I had to have phone all the time. I had it all working all the time, but not lately when I'm doing the body work stuff. Kind of like you, it just kind of floats around or whatever, you know. Um, what I'm doing right now is I'm fixing this dent for a buddy. Um, I haven't been putting the videos up yet of it um, just because it's been kind of crazy around here with trying to get um, stuff going for uh, you know the next flip and stuff. We do have our next car to flip and uh, it's sitting outside. It's a freaking 97 Ford Aspire. Just a bomb. We got it for 400 bucks and I'm trying not to paint anything on it. Although there is some rust repair to do on the back. We're going to see what we can do. We can't put hardly any money into it because it's a thousand dollar car. So um, basically, I need I need some help with this. Um, we uh, I, I was gonna get some black. I said let's get it from Darren. You know, he said I want this done. You know, we gotta get it done and out of here. I'm like, okay, we'll just um, we'll just go get some black. It's just black anyway, and it's not that much. So, um, but now he wants to add the bumpers in on it. So um, I don't know if I got enough paint here. I went down and I freaking I ran a nap on. I said I just need some black paint, right? And uh, um. I thank you in advance for all this help, buddy. By the way, and uh, I, I am gonna be uh, I am gonna be ordering stuff from you. I am gonna be a good customer of you, and I really appreciate all the help that you're giving me. Even though I'm talking about paints that you got, you're not even selling me. Okay, so that's just awesome. By the way, thanks. Okay, so I got they gave me some freaking urethane paint. Okay, I never painted this. The last this is what I used on the truck, the Omni uh, NBC uh, base coat. So I'm freaking confused about this. I think I got it down now. Okay, they're calling urethane, they got, they got, they're called polyurethane paints, right? It's a urethane base coat, and everything that I do, everything that I should be doing, everything on, on new cars is all base coat, clear coat, so that means it's a, a, a urethane base coat, urethane clear coat, right? Okay, now, is that an acrylic as well? Is it an acrylic urethane, or it, does the acrylic mean that it's a single stage? That's what I'm kind of confused about. It seems like what they're saying online is that acrylic means single stage paint, um, but they were also talking about how you could put clear over a single stage paint. So then it's not really a single stage anyway. So does this acrylic urethane mean that it's a single stage urethane paint, and an acrylic enamel is a single stage enamel paint, like this black can of crap we got here? This was only 25 bucks. Okay. This Omni I bought, this base coat was 65 bucks. And they said this is the crappy stuff, which I obviously, I seen how it covered. It was crap. It was mostly clear, like you said. Um, so, what do I do here? I, I can, I'm trying, I'm thinking I'm going to try and take this back, but it's, this mix on this is four to one. So, I'm only going to get like this much sprayable anyway, you know? Like, I don't know if I have enough to do. Um, I got to do that. And then, you know, this is a Tahoe. I got to paint the back bumper. And I got to spray this dent right here. I don't know if you can see very good. And the front bumper is all rusty on this thing. So I actually got a few little things to spritz here. And I don't know if this is enough. Um, but I'm kind of screwed trying to find out how the hell this stuff, how, you know, the whole urethane, acrylic enamel, blah, 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 crap works, you know. I know the enamel's junk. I know everything about enamel. Okay, I know it's junk, it's soft, it's old news, it's, you know, old school stuff. It's not junk junk, I guess, if you buy the nice stuff, whatever. If there's any such thing as nice enamels anymore, I guess, or whatever. But, you know, I'm not going to get into spraying enamels and lacquers and stuff. You know, I'm going to basically clear coat everything. So, can I spray this black crap that I got on here? And it says freaking three to four coats on it compared to the other Omni stuff that said two to three coats, and they weren't lying when they say two to three, I mean they mean three coats. So I'm guessing I had to put four coats of that black on to cover this up. Now all I have for primer is that Omni primer that I used, um, this Omni stuff right here that I used on the truck. So it's that um, high build 2K primer. So um, obviously I'm going to spray the area down with that first. Um, I got to hit the bare metal with the etch primer first obviously. And I'm going to go over the whole area with that other primer. And then um, I'm hoping I can cover all this up with that black. So could you please let me know what the hell I'm doing here, buddy? You're the boss. You know, I'm like your protege. You know, you and Pisser, you guys are my bosses. So, um, you know, I need a little bit of direction here um, 
with this crap because I think realistically I should take this crap back, tell them to give me the damn $60 paint, and then the clear coat. The reason I knew it was off, they gave me some hardener. They're like, you want the hardener for it? I'm like, well, yeah. You know, and I'm thinking, wait, I didn't put hardener in the last paint that I had. And they gave me this 101 hardener um, to go with it. I guess there's an option. You can put the hardener in the enamels if you want to or whatever. I don't know if it makes it harder or not because I know the enamel is like a softer paint or whatever when it dries. But then they gave me the, the 260 quick clear, okay? So I needed some clear too. I should be getting all this freaking, I should have matrix. It would be way more easier if I had all your shit lined up right here on my table right now. This would be so much easier. You know what I'm saying? If I had the matrix stuff. And I know, and I keep saying it, keep saying it. But it's like, he wanted this done fast and whatever. If I'd have known what we were doing here four days ago, I would have freaking uh, emailed Andrew and said, hey, send this stuff down, at whatever we need, you know? So what do I do? Do I take this shit back? Um... You know, I suppose it'd be three days if we took this stuff back and had you guys send it out or whatever. I kind of need this damn thing out of my shop, though. I can't really wait for it. I got to get it out of here. My parents are coming this weekend. So if you could help me out, anybody, that'd be great. And uh, you can just, uh, I don't know, what's easier, whatever's easier for you, man. If you want to call me right quick or if you want to um, shoot me a little vid like this or whatever, it doesn't matter to me. Um, but obviously the Matrix stuff looks way easier than, than this stuff, but... Um, Another quick question I had was, what the hell is this quick clear? I mean, the other clear that I got was, uh, you know, was uh, different. It was uh, high solids clear. So high solids clears that just get glossier. Does it dry harder? Is it better finish? This quick clear, it, does that just mean, I mean, what is that? Is that an enamel? Like, it doesn't say on the side of it. I haven't looked it up. I, I probably could figure all this out on ppg.com, but is that an enamel too, or is that an acrylic? Like, is there an acrylic clear coat that's supposed to go over this acrylic paint? You know? It's like, I'm all screwed up. I just want to take it back and get freaking regular Omni paint base coat. See, that's the other thing. They don't say that it's, you know, a urethane or an acrylic urethane or a urethane enamel or however the hell all those names work. But that doesn't say anything about urethane. It just says base coat, which I take it just means a urethane. So you can clear some of this up for everybody. You're the master, dude. Thanks a lot. Um, you want to shoot me a call? Um, so I'm, t I'm using the internet phone now at my house here, yeah, so it's free, like over the internet, like a bondage or whatever. Sometimes if you call me, um, if you don't get through, then it doesn't, you know, it doesn't ring very much at my house. It like takes a while for it to start ringing. So if you call it, <laughs> this is complicated. If you call it and you don't get me, um, I'll either, I'll either call you right back, but, um, it's a free thing over the internet, so if I get calls coming in, it's all free. I could talk all day. If I call out, I have to like watch videos and pay money to get my minutes to call out. So if you call me and you don't get me right away, you can just call again. Otherwise, throw up a video or something, or just email me a quick explanation. I don't know. Whatever you can do for me, buddy, would be great. I gotta kind of get this figured out by tomorrow. So, um, but thanks a lot, boss. Um, the the, um, the bugs are looking good, man. It's going to be sweet finally seeing, you know, I started watching your videos and they were just kind of laying around on the outsides of the, of the shop, you know. So I haven't um, really uh, got to see you paint a bug or um, or have one fully put together looking nice except for that blue one. I don't know if that's yours or not, that, that blue one with that, that has the blemish on the back or whatever. I don't know if that's yours or whose that is or whatever, but that one looks pretty sweet. And then I seen your drag race too. That's like your featured video on your featured page or whatever. That was freaking sweet. Um, I take it you sold that because you said it was for sale at that time that you were racing it. But yeah, my dad used to swear by those. He said there was there used to be these engines you could throw in the bugs, and they'd run the quarter mile like twice or something. And the motors were done. You'd put the new motor in. It was like a five thousand dollar motor or something. I don't know if that's true or not, but. That's kind of like, that was just one of the stories he used to tell me. He was reading some magazine, you know, he's a big reader into the hot rod stuff. And he was, uh, we used to have the Baja bug, you know, he chopped the fenders off and put the big tires on. He used to take us four-wheeling out in the back like Pisser just did on that one video with the Jeep. But, all right, enough babbling. This is going to take a while to upload. Um, so, yeah, thanks for, for everything in advance, man. And uh, if we need some red paint on this car. I got some time on that. I'll definitely get that ordered up. But I just found a red car at a junkyard, so hopefully I can grab a hood and a bumper, which is what I need off of, off of that one. Hopefully it's the same color that I won't have to do any painting on it, which will save me some money. Um, but, yeah, we're cruising. We got the first car here. That'll take us a day. Get that out and flipped. I mean, 
we're going to keep bringing them in, bringing them in. So I want to get this business rolling, and I want to use you guys definitely um, for all the paint and stuff like that. So cool, man. Take it easy or don't. Get some work done, whatever. And uh, cats are looking good. Uh, cool, man. Cool beans. Check you later. God bless.